I'm almost certain that you've never heard of this plugin before and yet it can save you a ton of time and money. So if you're still using Google Docs to collaborate with team members to write content or blog posts, then you've already noticed that copying and pasting content between Google Docs and WordPress can be inefficient, frustrating and a significant waste of time. So let me introduce you to Multicollab, which is literally the only WordPress plugin to provide all the collaboration features of Google Docs, but directly into the Gutenberg page editor, which means that you can add inline comments, suggestions, reply, resolve, comment on media and even mentions and email notifications. So it's the complete team collab directly from the Gutenberg page editor. So if you are a content creator using WordPress and the Gutenberg page editor, you need to check this out. It's a total game changer. Okay, so let me show you. Very good, so welcome to multicollab.com. So as you can see, this is a Google Doc style collaboration in WordPress, and you don't have to use copy and paste anymore. You will experience faster publishing, and also it's gonna streamline your workflow. So to get started, all you have to do is basically click on this yellow button here, so start collaborating, and let's discover their different plans. So these are all premium plans, obviously, you know. So you have the Plus, the Pro, and the VIP. So the Plus starts at just 199, 499 for the pro and 699 for the vip plan so this is the one that we are going to use in this tutorial now if you wanted to compare the different features you can scroll down and click on this here compare plans and there you go so basically with the plus you don't have suggestion mode or report and activities this is missing obviously you know and all these features as well so attached document slack integration so all these are not included in the pro version it's only those five here at the bottom and obviously the vip that's the full complete solution, okay? And again, this is the one that we are going to use today. So feel free to select any of those three plans. And once you have this, you can then access their dashboard. So once you are logged in, basically, it will look something like this, okay? So this is your account dashboard. These are all your details. And right here, you have view your downloads. If you click on this, you will access all your downloads and there it is. So this is step number one, basically download the plugin and make sure that you have the license key at hand as well. And then after that, I'll meet you in the WordPress dashboard. Very good. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So the very first step is to install our plugin. So for this, we go to plugins. So from here, let's click on add new and then upload plugin and then select the file you downloaded from their website. So there it is, open and then install and now activate plugin very good and now we have a quick setup wizard so let's continue with this so help us build a better multi collab uh, improve features yeah okay can't mean so continue you can watch this video here so we're just going to continue for now so uh, how did you hear about us well select one of them so i'm just going to select others because we are normally on youtube so let's click continue now we need to enter the license key so remember i said make sure you have it handy so just paste it here and then click activate license very good so now click done and there you go we all done already with the initial setup and as you can see we redirect us to the multi collab dashboard so basically here you will have all your activities recorded and you have a quick overview of what's happening on your website obviously you also have reports and settings we'll touch up on that later and now let me show you uh, the integration here so if you have the vip version like i have here you'll be able to connect slack directly to multi collab as well so let me zoom in here. So as you can see, you will get real-time updates for mentions, replies, and other comment activities of Multicollab in your Slack channel. And here's the key. It will allow you to fit Multicollab in a place you know your team is checking all day. And that also is an amazing feature. So to connect Slack, all you have to do is basically click on this button here, connect, and then simply select your channel, you know. So I'm going to select Mr. Web Reviews here, allow. And there you go, we connected already. Simple, isn't it? Okay, so first, let me show you the co-editing feature. So with WordPress, only one person can edit a document at a time. So as you can see, you have one user here already editing this document. And if I want to access it, I will see this message that David Garay is currently working on this post. And if I want to work on it, the only option available is to take over. But now the other user doesn't have access to the blog post anymore. So that's a big problem. Okay, guys, so let's pretend this is the page or the blog post that you're working on. So you put all all the content together so i have a title an image we have a quote here and even bullet points and so on okay so now i'm sure you'd like to collaborate on this document so how do you do so well first you need to invite your co-workers or, or your teammates okay whoever's working with you on this document so basically for this you have to click on share so here you have to type the full name and then the email address okay so i'm going to put hello 
at mrweb.tv and then you can add as many as you want. So click on the plus sign here and you can invite maybe two or three or four coworkers or teammates, okay? So basically I'm just gonna add this one for now and I'm gonna send the email invite. And there you go, the invite has been sent. So as you can see here, invitation email to David Garay. So they'll get an email with a link to access the multi-edit demo. So now let me show you the email I received. So here's the email basically. If you scroll down the page you have this link here, join the real-time collaboration. So basically if I click on this now, I'll have access immediately to that page. Very good. So to demonstrate the real-time co-editing feature, I have opened this in two different tabs, okay? So this one is the, the email I just received. I clicked on the link and opened it with Microsoft Edge. And this one is open in Google Chrome. So that way I can have the two users at the same time on the same screen, okay? So right here, you can see you have two users. You have David and David Garay. So these are the two collaborators working on this. So if I click on any of those sections here and start editing, as you can see, it will reflect here automatically so now this user here can see that david is editing this section and if i click on this one as you can see my name appears here and right there as well so if i wanted to edit this and add a line you will see it immediately as you can see it's adding a point two here and then i can type anything here basically as i wish okay and it will show immediately in the other users page as well and obviously it works the other way around so if i click on this as david garay you will see here david garay is editing if I click on this now you can see David Gary's editing and you can work together on the same document at the same time. Okay, so that was the co-editing feature. Now let me show you how you can interact with other team members. So let's say you run a tech blog. So obviously there's a lot of content to be produced here. So you probably have multiple people working together. So maybe one is working on the title and maybe keywords. One is working on the content, one for the imagery and, and one that's checking all the typos maybe or something like this, okay? So how do you work? How do you do so? Well, it's very easy. So if you go back to your back end here, you have access to all your blog posts. So if you edit any of them, so let's say for instance, well, let's go ahead with this one here, okay? So let's say this is the content of our page so far. So the title, uh, some paragraph, bullet points, a quote, an image, a bit of everything basically, even, even a, a table here, okay? So now we want to ask the assistance of one of our team members, okay? So basically all you have to do is to highlight the section that you want to add a message, a, a comment basically, okay? And you can see here you have a button there and also right here by the side. So this is to add a comment, okay? So if I click on this now, and I click the add sign, you will see all the team members assigned to the task, okay? So to the, this page. So if I put here David, okay? So let's select this user. So basically here I can add a comment now. So let's say, can you check if this info is correct or something like that, okay? And right here underneath, we have assigned to David Garay. So if you tick that box here, as you can see, the assigned person will be notified and responsible for marking as done. So basically, if you tick that box, only David Garay can mark it as done. And if it's not ticked, then you or David Garay can mark it as done. Okay, so let's comment. So there you go, that's been posted now. So if you look by the side here, you can open your multi-collab section and all your thread, it will be recorded here basically, okay? You can also have access to different sections here, like comments and suggestions, and you know exactly how many comments are there, how many reply you got, how many suggestions, and so on and so on. So you have a quick overview basically of the complete situation, of how many people are working on it and how many interactions there are on your page basically okay and you also have the settings here so basically here you can enable or disable some features for instance you can hide suggestions and hide comments and you can suggest edits as well now bear in mind that this will only work with draft pages or posts obviously you know so this is saved as a draft so i can enable this no problem and as you can see it's only compatible with a few types of blocks so let's check the compatibility here they provide you with the documents very nicely and neatly organized as you can see this is for the suggestions you know so this will work with paragraph block heading block list block quote pre-formatted block full quote and also a verse block. So if you use any of them, you can then use suggestions. So let's add a quote uh, for instance, okay? As an example here. So you go here, you're gonna add a new quote, okay? There you go. And as you can see, it will show up as a suggestion now. So here uh, you can type something like, perhaps we could have some quote right here. Okay, so please find one related to this subject matter okay something like this so there you go so now we have this sent as a suggestion 
And there it is now. Again, if you go right here, you know, you can go to multi collab and see all your activities. There it is. So now we ask for the, about the code. So this is basically a suggestion. As you can see, it's a color green. And this one is blue, which is basically a comment. And this is a suggestion. Okay. And again, you can add as many as you want. And right here on top, as you can see, a review all suggestions. So you can accept all or reject all. So I'm just going to accept all. Okay. And now that we've accepted it, it's been inserted in our content. So it's seamlessly, obviously, you know. So that's basically how this works. Okay. So let's have another look at something else. So if I highlight this again here, as you can see, you can add a comment. So again, I can contact someone, but you also have the file here. You can attach a file if you wanted to. So perhaps I'm going to contact at David again, you know, I'm going to ask a question. So can you uh, convert this PDF file and insert the first paragraph here? Okay. So here we're going to add, attach a file. So let's select our file. So I have a test PDF file here. So insert, as you can see, with some content. Okay, so open and then select. Very good. So now that's been attached. Okay, now I can send this as a comment. And now David Gary will check this out and he can convert the PDF file and then insert this here. Now let me show you a very handy feature of the suggest feature as well. So if I was to select this word here, maybe computer, okay. Maybe I want this to be in bold, so make sure this is enabled. As you can see, you have a bluish background, so that means it's on at the moment, okay? So maybe I want this to be in bold, okay? So this is a suggestion, and maybe I want this here to be in italic, just to add emphasis. And obviously here, as you can see, this has changed color as well, and these are basically two suggest edits that have made. And now my team members can double check this with me and that can be approved or basically declined, you know. So basically here, as you can see, you can accept the suggestion. So I'm going to do this, right? Very good. So this has been accepted. So now it's turned into italic. And now about this one in bold, you can do the same or you can reject it altogether. So I'm going to say no, this one, no good. So basically we'll just keep it the way it was. And you can also comment on media. So basically we have a picture here. As I can see, I can add a comment here and maybe ask my coworkers, you know, is that the right image for an AMD Ryzen? There you go. And then comment. Okay. And now everyone can reply. So let's say maybe it's the right one. So yes, uh, that's the right image. Okay. And then right here you can mark it as resolved. So let's take this box, resolve this thread. Yes. And that's it basically okay and now if you go back to your wordpress dashboard we go to multi collab and as you can see you have all the latest activities so if you're the admin of the website you can have a quick look of what's happening you know and you can see immediately everything from here so you can even open the documents if you wanted to remember we uploaded a pdf file if i click on this there you go have access to it immediately you know very easy as well now if you go on top here you have reports as well which is very similar except here it's related to comments that are open and resolved basically okay so you can see who posted the comment and who marked it as resolved and so on and again you have a quick overview of the whole situation of what's happening on your website and now last thing let's have a quick look at the settings so basically from here you have information about the plan that you're on basically so it's the vip that we have at the moment and then you have a few tabs here so you can take and untick a few options here general email notification publishing and suggestion mode but the one I wanted to show you here is the permission. So you can manage your permissions and assign different privileges per role, basically. Okay, so the admin here, do you want the admin to be able to add comment, resolve comment, or add suggestion, accept or reject suggestion, and basically the same with editors, author, contributors, and subscribers and guests, okay? And right here, as you can see, this is also available in multilingual. So you have it in English, but you can have it in Hindi, French, German, Bengali, Spanish, and Chinese. So there you go, guys. You can see this is quite a unique solution and it was badly needed as well to help teams collaborate on their WordPress website. Now, if you'd like to find out how you can monetize your blog, I'll leave this video here.